Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in the last video we made this sort of end of end of line sale thing with our dynamic stock item here. Today we're going to make this WooCommerce gallery. It's a Woo gallery using the images from a product to make either a, a grid gallery like this or a slider like this. So let's get started. It's really easy with the new Divi modules. I guess I'll do it up here. So first thing I'm going to do is enable our visual builder to let us build on the front end. Once loaded, let's go down where we actually want to work, which I guess I'll put it between these two rows here. So I'm going to hit the green button to add a new row. And in our row, I'll just do it like we did below there. I'll do two columns. Divi just keeps getting better and better. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check it out. And you can take it from a test run from my affiliate link below this video if you want to try it. So by default, Divi comes with all these modules as standard and they've just added some 16 new modules here with the Woo products. And this integrates with WooCommerce, which we use to build our online stores with. And they're absolutely fantastic. Today, I'm going to use the Woo Gallery Okay, I'm going to put one in there and it's not going to work and I'll show you why it's not going to work when I choose it. Okay, so here's our Woo Gallery. It's put a placeholder in there. Content. Well, here we've got to choose a product that we want to display. So if I say classic pants we've still got a placeholder in there. Nothing's happening. And the reason that's happening is because that particular product doesn't have anything in the gallery. If we go to our products, go to all products. I can't remember what I use. I think it was classic pants. If I look at this, if we go to edit and we go down to our images, there's our product image, but we've actually got nothing for our gallery images. So let's go to one where we have got some images in the gallery. Um, I think that was on our everyday shirt. So back to all products. Everyday shirts. I think that's where I put my gallery images. Just hit edit and go down. And as you can see, I've actually got some gallery images for this one. If you don't, you can just add product gallery images, hit that button, you can upload them. So if I now change that to everyday shirts, there we are, everyday shirts. As you can see, it's found those gallery images. And at the moment, you can scroll through them manually. I'd kind of like to make that automatic okay so it's automatically grabbed those and it's put them in there so we're pretty much done with that one that's pretty cool if you want to you can add a background and, and do some overlay effects and what have you but uh, for instance we can put a, a colored background in here and in some of the other settings we can have that, that show through so we've got our content we've got our background let's go to our design layout or slider, that's fine. We want the slider. Um, do you want to overlay? I'm not gonna this is really for the grid version that this works. We use the overlay, so I'm not gonna even use that on this. Image, okay. If we want it to blend with that little background that we've got going on here, we've got to give it a blend mode in the image. Remember we put that that purple background in there. And the text, I want those little arrows, I'd like those to be white in color because I think it'll stand out better over this picture. Let's go to our text. I'm not going to move the alignment, but I am going to make that light. There we go. That dot's now light. And as you can see, our little arrows are light as well. That works for me. We've got no title, caption or pagination text. Nothing I really want to do so to the spacing or the border. We'll give it a little bit of box shadow just for effect. There we go. But I do want this to slide automatically. Go to our design. 
and down to animation what do I want it to do I guess I want it to fade in we could have it to slide in but I think I'll have it fade in and I want it to do it on automatic animation to be on so it does it automatically I guess don't want any delay duration thousand milliseconds what does that look like that actually looks okay and as you can see when it's sliding it's just letting that little bit of opacity in there to see that background purple so that's all we're going to do for that I think that's actually got that doing exactly what we want so we got just about everything we want there let's just save that let's exit the visual builder quickly and see what we've got save the page when it's saved let's just exit the visual builder and there it is we've got our little slider going on there it should slide automatically you can change the duration if you wanted to slide a little bit quicker but i think we're actually pretty much done with that now, as you can see it's flashing in that little purple background every time it changes Great, so that works fine. And now let's do the one next door. Let's just make it into a grid. Very easy to do and nice way to showcase your products too. So we'll re-enable the Visual Builder. Now let's go down to where we were working. All I'm going to do is I'm simply going to clone this module. So I'm going to go to two little squares or oblongs right there. Left click to clone it. Doesn't matter which one you move. They're both identical. And move one over here. I'm going to go inside there and I want to go to design to layout this time I'm going to change it to grid as you can see it's put them in there it's, we've got that purple background I'm probably going to take that away it's actually made them landscape I really need them to be portrait because they are taller than they are wide so let's change that to portrait that's better now let's take that purple background away that's in content background simply hover over it and hit the trash can there we go and it's got writing in there you just can't see it if I go to design and I go to text I'll just change that to dark again there we go not quite sure why they've dropped down there into a single column let's put that back to light see if it makes any difference made no difference at all it's a little bit strange but anyway you can style your text your caption title and pagination text that we've not got any of that any way you want to but I'm just I don't want it there at all so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to content I'm going to go down show title and caption no show pagination no there we go now we've got our four nicely where we want them now when I hover over them I want it to sort of go a bit blue on the background I want this icon to be white and I want it to be a sort of shopping shopping cart type icon so let's take care of that we'll go up to our design go down to overlay and for overlay icon color I want it to be white see that things turn white you can't see it because we've got a sort of white overlay going on overlay background color I want that to be blue that's fine but I want to see a bit of the image behind there a bit of the lady right there so if we click on the color right slider right here's the opacity i'm going to take it down a bit we should be able to see her through it a bit more there there we go that that's pretty much fine still see her behind there you can see the icon well now let's change that icon let's find a shopping cart one elegant themes ships the divi with all these icons as standard of course you can add font awesome or all kind of other icons if you want to there's a shopping cart okay there's our shopping cart let's hover there that's absolutely fine okay in the image I think I will just give it a little bit of box shadow perhaps like we did this one so I just clicked on the image there by the way image 
and scroll down a box shadow just give it a little bit, bit of box shadow and there we have it and you've got a nice little product little display section here with some icon to image on hovers and a nice little slider showing all your products let's just save this and see what we've got pretty sure we're done again nice addition let's exit the visual builder and there we have it we've got our little slider and we've got our little four product images with our hover overlay let's see what happens when we click on that that's how easy it is to add a nice little product display to your site using the Woo Gallery module. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.